I've been invited to talk to the uh, students on the MA uh, TV course, which is great. So they've got a, someone like me who's been a working professional for 40 years. I've got a wealth of experience from both sides of, uh, of the fence, if you like. So, But it's not really a talk. I don't talk to students. I mean, we'll start off with a 15-minute Q&A with Chris Dolan, who's one of the lecturers, about what I've been doing for the last year. But then I open it up to the students, because I want them to ask questions. It's pointless me coming and talking for an hour and blabbing on about stuff that has no interest to them and of no worth. And I want them to get the answers to the questions they want answered. So that's, how, that's the format of, of the afternoon. Writing scripts is a collaborative experience. In the first instance, you as a writer create something out of the depths of your imagination and your life experiences, and then you hand it over to another bunch of artists, interpretive artists, and your work is bound to change. It has to change. That's the nature of, uh, that's the, nature of the industry. And particularly with the demands of television, which is an industrial process, it may very well change beyond recognition, and writers have to be prepared for that. They have to be able to adapt. Now, in this country, people, writers tend to be a bit pressured. Oh, there's my first draft. It's perfect. Whereas in America, you say, I don't like your 16th draft. Will you give me a 17th? Yeah, I'll give you a 17th draft. So the realities of, of writing with television are, it, it's tough. It's very, very tough. But you've got to remember it is a collaborative experience. And if you don't like the idea, go and write a novel. And hopefully you've got a good publisher who won't change a word.